Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Rules of Games. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Cassiotone CTS 100 as a MIDI. And the reason is because uh, I did show the instruction for CTS 200 and CTS 300. And many people uh, in the comments asked me, please show the uh, process for CTS 100. And I went and I found out that the process for CTS 100 is a little bit different than CTS 200 and 300 and even LKS 250. So I wanted to give it a try and uh, teach all of those people who want to learn how they can use their CTS 100 as a MIDI uh, with their PC. Let's go ahead and start. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is turn off your digital keyboard and start up your computer. And then you need uh, to use a commercially available USB cable to connect the, your Casio tone to your computer. And remember, it, the USB cable you're using is a USB 2. And how can you find out that it's a USB 2? The inside is not blue. Okay, um, then what you need to do, uh, the other side of the cable should be a micro USB type B. And many of you probably have this because all of the previous phone used this type of cable. Uh, make sure it's a one to one, uh, meaning that it supports data communication. Then go ahead and plug this to your Casio and plug the other side to the PC. Okay. Uh, you can use it without uh, aux cable, but if you use it without aux cable, any sound you produce into any software, the sound comes from your uh, internal PC speakers, not the internal Casio tone speaker. So in order to transfer the sound from PC to your keyboard, you need to input the sound. So you connect from output of PC one aux cable to input of your Casio tone. If you also want to transfer the internal sound of Casio tone to your PC, then you need another aux cable. You connect it from output of Casio Tone to input of your PC, then you can record internal sound that Casio Tone is creating. But for MIDI, most of you don't need this. You only need one aux cable, and that's for the sound that computer generating comes and plays through the internal Casio Tone speaker. Okay, what else you need? Okay, so that's basically that then you turn on your digital keyboard, which is your Casio tone. If it is the first time you're connecting, the driver required to transfer data will automatically be installed on your computer. And then start up any of your commercially available music software on your computer and uh, use the setting of your computer and go to that software setting and find Casio USB MIDI as the MIDI device. But most of the time, when you connect it, your computer recognizes the software and it says Casio USB MIDI ready. That's it. Now the biggest question, the second biggest question that many of you are facing uh, and commented below is how on Casio Tone CTS 100 where there is no screen, how can we uh, turn off the internal sound? And I have to say that's easy too. Okay, let's move on and see how we can do that. So what you have to do is um, hold the function button. So you have a function right here. You have to hold it. All right. While you're holding the function button, the keys of your keyboard are the setting. So there is no screen needed. If you look at to you through your manual, you can see number seven, which is, I believe, this key. 
Number seven, or this key is what is the local control on and off. So if you hold function and you click on this, then the local control is off. And then you let go the function while I'm playing any of the keys, there is no sound. What this means is that you're using your MIDI. So once you click in your computer and if your computer software is open, then you hear the sound. Meaning the sound is generated by your computer. It's not generated by the keyboard. And I'm going to hold the function again. And this one. And you can see the internal sound is back on. And that's how easy is it. So if you want to go to other settings like auto power off or my setup startup or startup volume lever or MIDI octave shift or MIDI out velocity, or MIDI out channel, or battery type, or rhythm volume, or many more, go, please go to the manual of your keyboard. And I believe it's on page 22. And it shows everything right there. It's very easy. If you have any question about how to do more, uh, I also created a video of what MIDI software you should use. You can use BandLab. How can you can turn your cheap Casio Tone CTS100 to a $1,000 Korg or $1,000 Yamaha? I showed all of that using MIDI. Go to my other videos. I put it at the end of the video too and you can watch it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I respond as soon as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.